am running out of ideas. Okay, then stop. No, I told you. <clears throat> I'm fine. This man is a hoe. Haven't you kissed more people? Okay, yeah, but I only did it so that I could beat him. Then you're both hoes. No, that's not how it works. Actually, bitch, yes, that's how it works. <laughs> you cannot keep kissing people if you have COVID. You're gonna spread it. I'm not gonna get anyone sick. You are so dumb. That's not how it works. Mm. I can't stop because then he'll get ahead of me. It literally does not matter. Stop it. It matters to me. You have got to be a Leo. You know, I shouldn't be giving you ideas, but maybe you could kiss someone you hate. You know what? That's actually a good idea for once. Thank you. Hey, Carson. Wait, I thought you hated me. Yeah, I do. Okay, then what the fuck was that? Good morning, Tate. God, you're still here. You're still in a bad mood. Lighten up a little. No, it costs nothing to be a bitch. Being happy is a scam. That is not true. I am so happy and I love it. You should smile less. Your teeth are ugly. You should also stop bleaching your hair. It looks dead. And your eyes are far apart. What? That's not true. Do you ever smile? Nope. Not even a grin? I prefer a frown. Are you like a psychopath or something? Who doesn't smile? Psychopaths, like me. Do you enjoy being irritating? Oh, please. You love me. I love when you don't speak. Nah, we're best friends, right? If it means you'll stop talking, then yes. You just need to do something that'll make you happy. Is there anything you can think of? No, nothing makes me happy, and can you stop trying? These are some trends from the 2000s that we need to bring back immediately. First of all, the black and white hair. It's just so good. I wish I could do it, but I'm afraid I'm going to burn all my hair off. Somebody else needs to eat this up and tag me, please. You might want to argue with me, but low-rise jeans and hear me out. As someone who is not very tall, this makes my torso look so much longer because I have children-sized legs. The crimped hair, mwah, mwah. Why did we ever stop doing this? I kind of love the texture. It's fun. It's crazy. It's messy, but on purpose. Last but not least, okay, this. This whole aesthetic. The belt and the cargos and the bracelets, yes. I would literally wear this tomorrow if I had all of this. Comment a trend that you want to see come back. Why do you think I'm your soulmate? Okay, do me a favor and smile. Yeah, my count went up. And you're just telling me this now? Well, I wasn't sure if it was actually you. I've never felt this way about anyone, and I, I didn't know what to do. You are such an ass. What? Why am I an ass? For not telling me. How was I supposed to know it was you? You never smiled. Do you know anyone else who's never smiled? How do we find out if we're right or not? Um, you guys have to kiss. We have to what? Oh, I'm down for a kiss. Of course you are. Okay, so pucker up. Um, no, this is not the appropriate time for a first kiss. Well, when would be the appropriate time? I guess we have to wait. I want to know now. I don't know how we're just piecing this together. You stress me out. No way, I do not stress you out. Yeah, you do. Tate, I'm your soulmate. What? Who the fuck are you? I'm Tate's soulmate. Who are you? Um, no, I'm his soulmate. Right, he would never like someone like you. What? I mean, come on, Tate, she's clearly lying about her count. I am not lying about my counter. She probably has way more smiles. It went up once when he smiled. Tate has never smiled before. Just don't listen to her. She's a liar. Tate, you don't believe her, right? Uh, I mean, I, I don't know. What do you mean? Well, we never confirmed if we're soulmates. I know how we can solve this. And what would that be? You both have to kiss me. Here you go with the kissing again. I'll kiss him. Oh, sweet. Tate, you are not kissing her. What? Why not? Because I told you no. And why should I listen to you? You never even told me if you like me or not. I do like you. This is not good. Why? What do you mean? It's all over the internet. Everyone's gonna think we're a couple. And is that a bad thing? Well, no, but... Are you embarrassed to be seen with me? Tate, I'm not embarrassed to be seen with you. So you don't want to be seen with me? I'm in public with you right now! Then why is the photo a problem? Could I tell you something? What? That photographer didn't come up to us by luck. I asked her to. You did what? 
meet the boring friends. But I thought she was just taking photos of random people. I paid her to come up to us. Why would you do that? Because I wanted to kiss you, but it didn't work. Listen, I'm sorry. Are you mad at me? No, I'm not mad. That's kind of sweet in a really creepy way. I wouldn't say that it's creepy. So, will you kiss me now? You know what? Fine. Uh, it didn't say anything. Why didn't it say anything? Isn't it supposed to say soulmate found? Yes, it is, and it didn't. Well, it must have been a mistake. Smile for me. Nope, definitely you. Well, then why didn't it say soulmate found? What's wrong with this stupid system? I don't know, but there must be a reason. I, uh, I gotta go now. You're just gonna leave? Yes, I have a commitment I need to attend. Bye. Mom, how do you know if someone's your soulmate? When you kiss them, it'll say soulmate found. Okay, but I kissed my soulmate and it didn't say anything. Honey, it has to be a true love's kiss. What is this, a Disney movie? No, but that's just how it works. How do we know if it's a true love's kiss? It has to be at the right moment. You can't rush it. I knew it. I have something to tell you. What? If you kiss your soulmate at the wrong time, you might lose them forever. Huh? So, how do we go about this plan of yours? I'm gonna take care of it. Don't worry about it. Okay. Whatever you say, weirdo. We need Ryder Daniels to the principal's office now. What did you do? I'll tell you later. Okay. I can't believe you two stupid fucks got me expelled. I don't know what you're talking about. Don't play dumb. Don't take it out on her, dude. It's not her fault. You two are going to pay for this. <laughs> Right. Cry about it, bitch. Um, excuse you? Bye. Can you at least give me a hint as to what you did to get him expelled? I may have told the office a few select <laughs> words about him and his relationship. What do I do about my friends, though? They still hate me. I can take care of it. I don't know if I want you to do that. Just trust me this time. It'll be good. Bailey, can we talk to you? What's up, guys? We wanted to apologize. For what? For believing Ryder over you. We never should have. It's okay. You didn't know. We're really sorry, and you are a great friend. Oh, and one more thing, actually. Yeah? It is so clear that Tate really likes you. Please treat him well. I will. Don't worry. Tate, what did you say to my friends? I told them the truth about what happened. They deserve to know. Why would you do that for me? Well, because I really care about you, Bailey. Could I say something? Yeah, of course. I know I said I love you out of nowhere, but I really did mean it. You're a great girl, and I'm glad I met you. It's totally okay if you don't feel the same way. I mean, there's nothing to stress about. No, Tate, it's okay. I actually love you, too. Wait, really? 3,000 times? I must know who this is. Bailey, did you hear that Brian already has a new girlfriend? Her name's Jessica. What? We broke up a week ago! I know, look at them over there. The free PDA show they're giving is disgusting. I think you're just jealous. I am not. Looks like they're coming over here. No! Hey Bailey, have you met my new girl Jessica? No, I haven't. Hi! Bailey's my ex-girlfriend, she's crazy. <laughs> Are your lashes real? Um, no. Yeah, I could have figured that. I can tell from a mile away. Somebody get this bitch away before I slap. I hate him. I just want to find my real soulmate. <laughs> what if your real soulmate's him? Definitely not. Aw, he's thinking about me. He's probably watching your thirst traps you always make. <laughs> How am I supposed to find out who it is, though? Um, I think I know a guy. That didn't sound sketchy at all. That's not creepy at all. I must know him. My soulmate's only thought about me two times. Wait, really? I know. What's yours? Yeah, mine says 4,000. Girl, what? He's obsessed with you. <laughs> I mean, you must know him already. I know. That's what I'm saying. But I just don't know who. No one has a crush on me. Literally everyone has a crush on you. Good morning, beautiful. I brought you flowers. Jackson, I told you. It's never gonna happen. You'll give in at some point. 
You can't see us together? No, I've known you since we were like three. That would be so weird. It's only weird if you make it weird. I'm not gonna stop. You will love me eventually. You can keep trying, but it's not gonna get you anywhere. Hey, could I sit here? Yeah, go ahead. I like your skateboard. Oh, thank you. I skateboarded too. Are you gonna come to mine for a sleepover tonight? <laughs> yes, of course. We have them every Friday. I know. I'm just making sure. <laughs> I'll see you later. I know. When I heard that Jake literally cheated on her. Oh, he definitely did. He flirts with me. Do you have any water? Yeah, just go to the fridge. Oh, hey. Gah! Yeah, who the fuck are you? I'm Marie's brother. I live here. I didn't even know that she had a brother. I don't want a brother who looks like that. Wait, what did you just say? Nothing. I saw a bug. How old are you? 19. How old are you? I just turned 21. Not a big age gap. I gotta go back to hang out with your sister. Will I be seeing you any more tonight? You might. Bitch, why didn't you tell me that you have a brother? Oh, because he's annoying and barely lives here. <laughs> Whatever. I think it's past my bedtime. <sighs> yeah, me too. Hey, psst. Are you still awake? What are you doing in here? Uh, I want you. Uh, what's that? Mom, what is going on with this thing? That shows you how much people really like you. Why is it only a 9 out of 10 for you? You puked on my head once when you were a baby and I never got over it. Way to hold a grudge. I think today might be kind of fun. Hey, Tracy, how are you? I'm good. Love your shirt. Thanks. You're welcome. By the way, your boyfriend has been Snapchatting my sister the whole time you guys have been dating. What? Really? Yeah. Bailey, good job. You got 100%. Oh, that's great. Thank you. Could you help me grade after class? I just remembered I have soccer practice. You don't play soccer. I do now. Apparently no one likes me. There you are. Where have you been? I was crying in the bathroom. Right. Oh, yours is a 10 out of 10? Duh, you're my best friend. But yours isn't loading. Oh, that's so weird. I, I don't know why. Why are you biting your nail? I'm not. I can literally see you doing it. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, okay. Could you, like, sit somewhere else? Anywhere? Please. There's no open seats. Where would I go? I don't know. Go on the floor next to the trash. No, I'm staying here. Why do you want me to move? What was that? Nothing. Class, you all need to pick partners for the new project. Why are you looking at me like that? Because I want you to be my partner? Hell no. It's not like you have anyone else to be partners with. I'm going to be partners with Macy. I already have a partner. Sorry. Looks like you're stuck with me. Great. Does anyone have any questions? Can I switch partners? No. Damn. Okay. I think you're in love with me. I would rather throw up. Honestly, I really hope you do throw up, Blondie. Yeah, I'll take the pink one. Never mind. I'll take the blue. Oh, hey, why do you look pissed? The first thing my soulmate didn't like was my favorite color. Okay, well, I'm sure he didn't know that. You've got to be shitting me. Okay, now I just feel like I'm being targeted. Is this one about you, too? Yes. My soulmate has not been saying things like that. He's singling me out. It's like he knows something I don't. Maybe you know him already? I doubt it. Hey, short slice, what's up? Fuck off. Damn, no need to be rude. No, I'm just not having your shit today, okay? Oh, I'm so afraid. You do not look good in green. Ryan, I do not care. Really? Because it kind of seems like you do. I'm not a bitch. Actually, you kind of are a bitch. What? This cannot be happening. Uh -huh. Ah, it's real. Hey, I just forgot. Ah! Oh, sorry. What's with the scream? Uh, why are you back? I forgot my notebook. <sighs> okay. Is something wrong? No. Are you sure? Because you seem to... I'm good. I'm telling you. I'm good. I swear. Okay. Girl, I know you just lied to him. What's wrong? I think Nathan is my soulmate. Shouldn't you be excited then? Yeah, but he's my best friend. That's so weird. It's only weird if you make it weird. Do you even like him as more than a friend? I don't know. I've never really thought about it that hard.
Could you see yourself with him? Maybe. There's no point. He doesn't like me anyway. And how do you know that? Because we're friends. So that's it? You're just gonna let him go like that? No, I'm not giving up. He's my soulmate. That's the spirit. That's what friends are supposed to do. But I'll always feel it for you. And I've got issues with everything and everyone. We need to talk. No, it's not just. Excuse me. Sorry. Excuse me. I need to get through. We all want to talk to him. Wait your turn. <laughs> He's definitely not going to talk to you when you look like Shrek. What? Shrek? <gasps> Bro, he's literally built like the Eiffel Tower. What? Well, how tall do you think he actually is? It's gotta be over seven feet. Can y'all stop shoving me like this is the Hunger Games? It's a dude! Wow, wow, wow. These girls are going feral for him. I'm not gonna be able to get to him. Um, I think I know how we can. How? Here, get onto my shoulders. <laughs> okay. Are you sure this is safe? Nope, not at all. Okay. Hey, moving skyscraper, wait up! Hey, Bailey, how's the weather up there? Shut up! Sir, hi, how tall are you? Um, 7'3". Ugh! What, do you have something against tall guys? Oh, I'm sorry. That just means that you're not my soulmate. How tall's your soulmate? 7'1". Oh, my brother's 7'1". A brother? So, where's your brother at? Um, I don't know, he didn't come with me. What do you mean you don't know? It's, like, urgent. Why do you care so much about where my brother is? Uh, hard to explain. You are so weird. I'm out. Uh, wait, please. Bro, no, you're freaking me out. Can you just leave me alone? Okay, I'm sorry. So, do you want to get down, or... Yes, I want to get off your shoulders. Whatever, he looked like a grasshopper, and his brother probably does, too. You're just mad he didn't like you. Do you think that the brother goes here, too? Who knows, but he's 7-1. I'll see him. Yeah, but will he even see you? What do you mean? You're just, like, so much shorter than him. I've had enough of the short slander. This is so annoying. Oh, my God, there's two of them! Two of who? We need to get his attention, now. Throw something at him. Okay. Not a glass. Oh! Yeah, y'all want to know why I'm mad today? Let me show you. I made five videos yesterday, and not a single one posted. Not one. Like, I know I'm in a bikini, but I wasn't even doing anything inappropriate. I promise I'm not inactive. I tried. TikTok, please let me show my body. I'm very proud of it. I work very hard. Hmm. Uh, are you okay? You look like you saw a ghost. Uh, yeah, I'm good. I just really need to use the bathroom. Bye. Oh, this is not, this is not happening. He's my best friend. He can't be my soulmate. Um, hello. Ah! What are you doing? I was peeing. You're not even in a stall. Well, I was about to. There's no reason to be scared. I'm not going to fight you. Then what do you want? I think that you could help me with something. How would I be of any help? Well, I want to make my ex jealous. What? You guys are so close. It would just be so easy. Why would I help you? You were such a bitch to me. I know. I'm sorry. I was just messing around. You can forget it. I'm not helping you. You're not his soulmate. His soulmate's in a relationship. However, you know who is not in a relationship? What are you trying to say here? I think you're my soulmate. I'm not. Um, yes, you are. No. I thought you like girls, too. No, I do. Just not you. You should just become nameless. I don't know if I want to have no name forever. Well, what is the other option? Being called car accident. There has got to be some way I can change it myself. I know where you can go. Bro, where did you come from? Don't worry about that. You need to go to this address alone. You want me to pull up to a random sketchy address alone? I promise they can change your name for you. Okay, I'll do it. Mm. At the door, the password is cheese. Cheese? Really? Okay. Um, oh. Hello, what's the password? Uh, cheese? Oh, yes, come right this way. So, what do you want? I need to change my name, like, really badly. I can do that, but you're gonna have to pay. Pay, like, how much money? No, not with money. The only way to get a new name is to steal one from someone you know. What? Help me, Bethsy, I bought a corset, but I don't think I'm pulling it off. I have men's shoulders for why. Be too flat for this. Is that a rectangle I see? 
Hey, I bet I can find my soulmate before you do. I don't think you can. Let's bet on it. The winner gets $10,000. Okay, deal. Please, please, please. Are you kidding me? Two, no, four, sorry, I meant four. What's the capital of the United States? I'm gonna win so fast if they're all fourth grade questions. Washington, DC. Spend the money on a new handbag. Bro, Bailey. That's weird, my name is Bailey. Mom, my name is Bailey, isn't it? Uh, yes, of course it is. This stupid thing must be broken. Can I see my birth certificate? No, I'm sorry, you can't have it. Why? We had burned the paper when you were about four years old. What? Take me on a date, I deserve a bet. And don't forget the flowers that bring an anniversary. Cause if you treat me right, I'll be the perfect wife. Buying groceries, buying, buying what you need. You got the nine to five, but baby, so do I. So don't be thinking I'll be home and baking up a class. I never learned to cook, but I can find a hook. Sing along with me, sing, sing along with me. Hey. You gotta know how to treat me like a lady. Even when I'm acting crazy, tell me everything's alright. So dear future husbands, here's a few things you need to know if you want to bring my one and only home alive. Dear future husband, if you want to get that special love and save my mom or save all the money. You have to keep all the money, sweetheart. It'll change your life. No, mom, I can't do that to you. At least I would die knowing that you'll stay happy. I'm sorry, we can find money another way. No way, you actually just gave me all of the money. See you later, suckers. I can't believe you just did that for me. I love you. Of course, I love you. We need to find some other way to make money. I'll get a second job. It'll be fine. I'll be happy with anything, as long as it's with you. Me too. Bailey, I heard a rumor that you actually lost all the money. Yeah, it's true. I bet you're so jealous now that you have nothing. I have such a nice car and a house. Whatever. You are just so dumb. I would have saved all the money over my mom. You know what? Even if I did have the money, I wouldn't have given any of it to you. Why? What? You said that you would. You're just kind of a bitch. Um, excuse me? What the? Mom, what the hell is this? You have to choose one thing to give up until you meet your soulmate. Can't speak or can't cry. I'm definitely gonna go with can't cry. No way. You literally cried this morning because we didn't have your favorite kind of bread. I really like the sourdough bread. Dude, you're gonna fail and not be able to meet your soulmate. Whatever, yes I will. Hey sis, remember that pink shirt I borrowed? Oh, yeah, do you have it? Yeah, but I got red paint all over it. I'm so sorry. So, are you mad at me? No, I'm, I'm totally fine. I'll just buy a new one. <laughs> Bailey, you failed your midterm. You got a 4%. How did I even get a 4%? You literally spelled your name wrong. You're out of lunch money, so you can have mystery meat instead. What's in the mystery meat? I don't know. It's a mystery. I need to find my soulmate right now. I cannot do this anymore. How are you going to do that? You have no idea who it could be. I have an idea. Please don't give me anything hard to find. Used to be a fool. Snake earrings. <gasps> my sister! I know she has some. She's like emo anyway. Jessica! What? What do you want? Do you have snake earrings? Yes, and you can't have them. Why not? It's my favorite pair of jewelry. Please, I need them. Why would you need them? For my soulmate. Stop making that face. Fine. Thanks. Cool. What's next? What? That is so oddly specific. Honey, you're gonna be late. Sorry, let's go. Oh, hey guys. Hey. Your hat. Do you like it? Give it to me. Damn, why? Please, I need it. For the scavenger hunt? Sure, here. This is so easy. Huh? Hopefully these will do. Hey, Martha. What do you want, ugly? Can I touch your hair? It looks really soft. No, the fuck. Thanks. Did you just cut my hair? Why the fuck would you do that? What? You said you didn't like me. So you steal my girl? Yeah, simple solution. What, are you mad because I can pull her and you can't? You didn't even actually pull her. You used your powers. This is not over, Blondie. Actually, yes it is. You have no chance going up against me. Right. Ugh, I need to go. 
Hi, I'll tell you how the date goes. Okay, yeah, we'll see about that. Okay, Macy should be here soon. So, is the second person coming, or...? I think I got stood up. Whatever. Hey! Mike? That's my name. What the fuck are you doing here? I told Macy not to go out with you. You did what? You don't deserve a date with her after what you did. Well, I actually liked Macy. No, you didn't. You just wanted revenge. You don't know what you just started. Are you scared to see how much time you got? <laughs> No, I always get whatever I want. Don't get ahead of yourself. What if you get none? That's not gonna happen. I think I'm gonna get, like, a new car this year, probably. What? Um, what's wrong? I got one year. How am I supposed to buy anything with one year? You just got humbled so badly. Ugh. Hey, do you want to go shopping with us after school? Uh, I can't. <laughs> Why not? You love shopping. I'm trying to save money. Bitch, you know that's not true. Just come with us anyway. Okay. I love this. How much is it? Oh, that one is a hundred days. Never mind. Why didn't you just buy it? I don't know. Well, we can't be friends with poor people. What? Excuse me, miss. You dropped this. Oh, this isn't mine. It is now. I bought it for you. Well, thanks, but you didn't need to buy it for me. Oh, yes, I did. Bye. The oh, fuck? Oh, you ended up getting the lipstick? Uh, yeah, I did. Maybe we can be friends with you after all. Really? What? Do you not want to be our friend or something? I think I'm going to find better friends who aren't raging assholes. Are you serious, bitch? Yeah, sorry. Hey, Mom. Someone left a drink for you. I put it on the table. What? It's my favorite order. Did Dad get this? Uh, no. Dad's out of town, so... Okay. What is this? I've been wanting this for, like, a year, but I can't afford it. Is this from the same guy in the mall? Uh, hello? So, did you, uh, like the drink? Who are you? The guy from the mall. Yeah, well, I know that much, but why are you here? I have some very important information to tell you. What? I got a 93% for my looks. Oh, you don't deserve that. I'm giving you a five. But you need to lower your ego. You're not that good looking. Okay, jeez. Mom, Dad, can you guys rate me a little bit higher? Jenna just ruined it. Sorry, honey. Your sister's prettier. I agree. What? You looked better when you had a normal hair color. But I like my hair colored. You look like the purple Teletubby. Ew, I hate tattoos on girls. I give you a four. I have had enough of this. Hey, Bailey, do you think you could rate me as a ten? Yeah, of course. You're beautiful. Ah, oh, thank you so much. You rated me a four? I just gave you a ten. Okay, but I can't give you a ten if you aren't one. Sorry. Your boyfriend cheated on you. No one's gonna want to date me if I have a forty-six. <laughs> Whoa, who are you? You're the first ten I've seen today. What? Well, <laughs> thank you. Uh, why do you seem surprised? Oh, well, nobody else had given me a 10 yet. Really? Well, are you from Tennessee? Because you're the only 10 I see. Ah, that was a good one. You think so? Did you like it? Yeah, I loved it. I'm Tate, by the way. I'm Bailey. It's nice to meet you. It really is. Bailey, you know, I think I changed my mind. I'm going to rate you as an 8 instead. What? Why? You just made fun of me. Oh, that? Oh, yeah, <laughs> I was just kidding. Okay, thanks, I guess. What the fuck? You know, I was lying earlier. I really think tattoos on girls are hot. What is going on? Girl, what happened to your score? It was just at 40. Do you know what's happening? Yeah, do you know who that guy you were talking to is? Uh, I don't know, he was just like a random kid. I think there's something you don't know. What? Literally everyone has a crush on him. Why? He's like a super famous actor, girl. Uh, why are you standing like an NPC? I don't know, and I can't move. You look so funny. I'm taking a pic. Ha! What is wrong with you? You just punched me in the face. Sorry. I didn't even do anything wrong, too. I'm not doing it. My soulmate is. Well, your soulmate sucks. Help! What are you stuck on? There's nothing in front of you. I don't know. Okay, where the hell did you get that broom from? It just appeared in my hands, so I guess it's mine now. Can you please put the broom down? You're freaking me out. I can't. 
Whatever, let's just keep going. Are are you dancing? Hey, yo, bro's kind of got the moves. Where did you get those and what are you doing? Yeah. Ah! I gotta go. Bye. Please just don't be anything weird. Are you actually kidding me? Good morning. Oh, um, your nickname is Barney. I wonder why. Oh, it could be because you have purple hair, but like, I don't know. Good one, obviously. But how would he know that you have purple hair? I wish I knew. <laughs> your nickname is Sweetheart? Cute, right? And yours is <laughs> Barney? Thanks. Like the dinosaur? That's embarrassing. You're embarrassing. Hey, purple hair. Purple hair, can you hear me? Ryan, you know that's not my name. Yeah, but your actual name annoys me, so... Ugh. You should really dye your hair back to a normal color. Why? Because I hate purple. Who hates the color purple? You know, can you just, like, go away? No, where would I go? I've been sitting here. I don't know, go sit next to the trash or something. You're the only person who has a nickname that actually suits them. Uh, nothing. <laughs> I'm just hanging out. Why are you acting suspicious, then? I'm not. I've never acted suspicious in my life. Do you drink energy drinks? Uh, no, <laughs> I don't. You're holding one. It's hers. Okay, well, if you see anyone holding a bang, let me know. Yep, I'll let you know. <laughs> Do you think he knows? He might. You're a bad actor. Shit. I told you you needed to be careful. I thought I was careful. Not enough. A $500 gift card? What? I didn't send him that. Are you positive? Yes, I'm sure. Everyone, I found my soulmate. It's Macy. How is that possible? It's not. Macy can't be his soulmate. I'm his soulmate. You don't even want to be his soulmate. Yeah, well, I don't want someone else to be his soulmate. Hey, purple-haired bitch, you better stay away from my man, all right? I'm sorry? Just give me, like, a dollar so I can get some coffee. Damn it, nothing? Open really? My soulmate just sent me $300. $300? Are you serious? Yeah, isn't that so nice? I got nothing, but it's okay. Maybe he just can't afford it. Yeah. Um, mine just sent me 10k. 10,000? Yeah. Did everyone's soulmate send money except mine? It really seems like it. Great. At this point, I would just be happy with, like, a dollar. Literally 30 cents. What? Am I hallucinating? What's wrong? Did he send something? Yeah, you know, he sent me a little. How much? Two million dollars. What? How does he have that much? I'm sure there's a reasonable explanation. Like a sugar daddy. Not that. I think I know who it is. Huh? Hi, um, that's my car. Why are you gonna tow it? You're the one who drove that car here today? Yeah, I just said that. You need to come with us right now. What? Why? That car was reported as stolen. Stolen? I'm not the one who stole it. I've always had that car. That car has never been parked here before. Let's go. Okay. I think there's been a misunderstanding. Okay, then do you have the registration for that car? No, I don't. The owner will decide if he presses charges. Like, the owner of the car? Yes, who else would it be? Uh, no! What do you mean, no? You stole a car. Um, I have social anxiety. That's cute, but I don't give a fuck. Hey, are you the one that's been driving my car? No. Really? Because the description matches you perfectly. Fine, yes, it was me. Where's my necklace? Um, what necklace? Don't pretend like you don't know what I'm talking about. Bro, I don't. I want my necklace back. It was from my grandma. Well, I don't have it, so I don't know what to tell you. You're lying. Who cares about this necklace? Why do you have my car? I only took the car because you took my necklace. No, I didn't. Then who did? Ah, oh, I'm not the only one who owns this car. Who else owns the car? My brother, Evan. I don't think I'm gonna press charges. You seem mentally unstable as it is. You know what? I'll take it. Wait, how do I find your brother? I am not telling you how to find him. You're on your own. Honey, um, are you just trying to find your soulmate? Oh, uh, yeah, I am. I think I can help you with that. Ow. Here's his address. Don't tell anyone I gave it to you, okay? Oh, wow. Thank you so much. 
I guess I'll be taking a scooter since I don't have the car anymore. Hey besties, let's pick out an outfit to go to Wegmans in case I meet a man or something. I don't know. I just got some Levi's 501, so I think I want to wear these because they are cute. You know, I do like these shorts, but they're kind of too big on my waist, so they're making me look a little rectangular. Okay. I think I want to wear this top. I just got it from Verge Girl. It is so cute, knitted, love. It is so pretty. I'm obsessed, but I'm honestly not sure about these. Yeah, JK, I'm putting on these ones from Zara because these don't fit very well. <laughs> Y'all, I don't know. This is why I don't wear jean shorts. <laughs> I'm just gonna wear this Poland Bear shirt over top of this because it's kind of cold in Virginia. Um, final fit. Love. Dang, well, I guess he doesn't live near me. So, is your soulmate nearby? Nope, he's as cold as ice. He might go to your school, you never know. Maybe he does. I guess I'll find out. See you later. Not at all. I think Ugh. my soulmate goes to our school. Seriously? You're so lucky. Mine hasn't moved at all. Don't even worry. You're gonna find him. Ugh, I know. I just don't know how. Are you ready for this concert tonight? Yeah, of course. We've been waiting for months. And we have front row seats. <laughs> I know. I'm so excited. I think it should be on the right here. There it is. Uh, is something wrong? Nothing. Tickets out, please. Guys, I think my soulmate is at this concert. Your ticket? Oh, sorry. Guys, wait, I really think he's here. Ma'am, you need to stop right there. What? There was something suspicious in your bag. Uh, uh, what do you mean? My friends are leaving. Are you going to tell us what you were going to do with this knife? That's not mine. What? That's literally the opposite of what I am. Did you find out what your soulmate's type is? Yeah, I did. Is it not you? You don't seem happy. No, I'm not even close to his type. He wants someone who's 5'8 with dark hair. Yeah, you're not even close. You are so helpful. It's fine. He's probably not even my type anyways. Macy, why the fuck is your hair brown? My soulmate likes brunettes. You changed it for your soulmate? Yes, you didn't change anything? Hell no, I'm not doing that. I love myself. Did everyone change themselves for their soulmate? Pretty much. We want them to like us. Oh, good. The new kid you're tutoring is here. Oh shit, I forgot about that. We'll get ready because he's coming. Hey, are you my tutor? Yeah, I am. Okay, stop flirting with me. Excuse you, I wasn't- Yeah, I know exactly what you're doing. Hey besties, super exciting news. Um, I know a lot of you have had so many questions for me recently about working out, diet, nutrition, literally fashion, anything, and I have such a hard time replying to Instagram DMs because there are so many of them. Which is why I have decided to make a group chat on the IRL app, which will be linked to my bio. You can all join it. You can ask me whatever questions you want, and I'm basically going to be on it all the time because I have nothing else to do, honestly. <laughs> I am so excited to be able to talk to all of you guys, and I know that you have plenty of questions for me because I've seen them in my comments. I'll be talking about my favorite makeup products, workout routine, favorite workouts, literally whatever you guys want me to talk about, I will. This is my profile on the app, same as literally every other platform. My username is Bailey Spin always. It's the one up here named TikTok Besties because I literally love you all to death. Hello. <laughs> Please come talk to me. I have no friends. You ask and you shall receive, babies. Also, a few of you commented that these are bustiers and not corsets, so I'm so sorry for calling them the wrong name in the first video. <laughs> Here's the one I was wearing yesterday, and here is the back. So this one's basically the exact same as the last top, except it is white, and it's a so cute. Here it is from afar. Next we have this black one. She's very nice. It's padded, which is extra nice. <laughs> and here it is from further away. Now we have this lovely white one. You might not be able to find this one anymore on victoriasecret.com because it was on clearance when I bought it and that was like two months ago. <laughs> hey. This one might be my personal favorite. It just gives me like modern renaissance vibes. I don't know. <laughs> Here it is from further in the back. I actually get this comment quite a lot. So today I'm going to turn myself into Miss Taylor Swift. Before y'all come for my neck, I don't think I look like Taylor Swift. I think we have enough Taylor Swift impersonators, but let's see what happens. Her brows are definitely lighter than mine, so I'm trying to lighten them up with this eyebrow gel. She is pale just like me, so we don't have to change anything there. 
She has pretty high cheekbones, so I'm gonna try my best to mimic that. Her nose is also a different shape, so I'm gonna try to round mine out. Her blush looks pretty light, so I'm also gonna go pretty light. I love blush though, I'm kinda sad. I feel like I have some similar features, but we don't actually look the same. I chose a look with wings on purpose because I love eyeliner. Rhinestone time. This is so hard. <laughs> I could not record me doing that, I'm sorry. Lastly, we have to do the iconic red lip. This is so satisfying. I am gonna quickly try to mimic the hair that she has in this photo. The hair looks bad, but you get the idea. This is our final look. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Proof that it's all about the pose. Flat as heck. The booty has magically appeared. Hey guys, I'm here to share some super exciting news, so stick around. I'm partnering up with Sick Media to give away $10,000 in prizes. I know times are hard with corona and everything right now, so I just want to spread some love to all of you guys because I love you all so much. If you enter, you have a chance to win a MacBook, a Louis Vuitton bag, AirPods, and a $5,000 cash prize. All you have to do is follow at the sick giveaways and follow everyone that they're following, and I will have their at in the description. And if you want an even bigger chance to win, share this post with five friends, and it only takes 30 seconds, and trust me, it will be worth it. Once you share it with five friends, let me know in the comments by writing done. Good luck, everyone. One of you requested that I try on all my skirts, and I'm up for a challenge, so let's do it. The one I'm wearing is a two-piece set, but it's from Generation Outcast. This one is from White Fox. It's so pretty. This one is again from Generation Outcast. This one is from White Fox. Sorry, it's so wrinkled. This is from White Fox again. Still White Fox. Princess Polly. Sorry, missed one. This is from White Fox. Princess Polly, Princess Polly, Urban, also Urban, Princess Polly, Princess Polly again. <laughs> now we have some oddballs. This is from Windsor. Garage, Fashion Nova, Forever 21, Lucy in the Sky, Juniper Blue. This is from Goldhinge, and I think that was all of them. Um, I have a shopping addiction. Thank you. <laughs> So me and Carter are at the largest gas station in California, and somehow I lost him. I don't know how. He's 6'2". There is so much going on. Oh my god, hello. Excuse me. Hi. Rawr. Rawr. Hi. <gasps> I want him. There's two ice cream straws for us. Come here. I really have the urge to cut some wispy bangs, and Cannon told me not to, but I'm going to do it anyway. I saw Riley's little tutorial, and she just took a baby hair from like each side of the part oh my god don't take too much is that even even i feel like this is too much let's try again less is more because hair does not grow back immediately okay i have way less now let's just do it and she said not to pull them tight so i'm gonna leave them like chilling and i'm just gonna send it oh i'm gonna do a little bit more I also don't have hair cutting scissors. These are eyebrow scissors, which just, you know, adds to the fun. <gasps> okay, but like, wait. Why did I do a good job? I love them. And if I don't want them, I can just push them aside. Mm. Today, I'm going to be turning emo. I'm kidding. But a while ago, I got gifted a black lip gloss, and I have never used black on my lips, so I have to try. I do not own black lip liner, so we're using an eyeliner by Tarte. What if I end up liking this? I honestly doubt that I will, but I keep fucking it up. This looks interesting so far. I don't know how to feel. It's time. It smells really good. Whoa! <laughs> okay, so it's definitely pigmented for sure. Okay. Ooh, it's coming off. Wait. Why does it look good? I did not need to know that black looked good on me. Emo face? When I moved to LA, there were some clothes that did not make the cut from home. Now that I am home, I'm going to try them on and rate them 1 to 10. 10 being I'd wear it again, and 1 means I'd never put it on my body. This is definitely someone's taste, but uh, not mine. I am going to give it a 6 out of 10 because it has two leg slits. Okay, sexy. I look like my mom dressed me for someone's funeral. I thought this was going to be good, but it's not, so 5 out of 10. Next up is this top. Um, I honestly just can't figure out how you wear it. See, it looks alright, but I'm just really confused, so 3 out of 10. 
This one's giving me flashbacks. It is so core 2016 Fashion Nova. I wore this for an Instagram and I thought I was so cute. I would never ever wear this now, two out of 10. I still have more interesting things. So if you want me to do a part two, comment down below. You know, I think we're all well aware that I have too many clothes, but guess what? I got more. These are all from Addicted and I am obsessed. I'm gonna start with all the tops because there's a lot of them. This is the first one, size extra small, obsessed. Now we have this one, size small, looking snazzy. Ooh, I think these are all size small, but I am speechless. <sighs> and we have this, which I also got from white. The quality is so good. This is the white one. <laughs> they are just killing it. Wow. Can you tell that I like white shirts? This is literally precious. I feel like I need to pull up to a picnic or something. <laughs> no words. <laughs> I swear they just keep getting better and better. Please bury me in this shirt. Don't worry, I got pants too, and they're so good! <laughs> Girl! Yeah, I love this dress. Use my code Bailey10 for 10%. One side <laughs> You're done. You're done. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm doing another haul with Brandy and um, Urban Outfitters, except this might be triggering for me because I don't know if these pants will fit me. Come on, Brandy, we're so close, yet so far. They don't fit. Mm -hmm. We're good because I've redeemed myself with these amazing bright green cargo pants and they actually fit me very well. This is just a jacket and it's really cute, but they were not kidding when they said oversized. Interesting. I also got it in this like sage green color, so cute. We're moving on to Urban. This is just a crew neck. It is so soft and comfy. I love it. Like, what a vibe. This is a lot of green, but this sweatshirt is so cute. I have the other, like, sublime one. Very similar. Hmm. This haul was so good, except for those pants. I'm in love with this. Absolutely in love with that. I feel like I look so cool. Bye, bitches. So, oh, do you guys want to tell me what's going on? Uh, not really. I'm not going to leave until you tell me. My best friend has a crush on you. What? No, I don't. Yes, she does. She's just nervous. Well, I don't care. She's not my soulmate. I thought you didn't want to be with your soulmate. Maybe I had a change of heart. Huh. You two need to stop meddling in my business. Or what? Or I'll make the whole school hate you. Damn. Girl, you need to guess another letter. Just to make sure. Okay. T. So? They're in the same spot that his are. How much of his name do you have left? The only letter I'm missing is the Y. You still have a guess. Finish his name. I can't. It's going to tell him. It'll reveal your identity? Yeah. How are you going to do this, then? I don't know. Bailey, I need to talk to you right now. This is what they meant when they said, don't talk to strangers. In the early 1900s, a 10-year-old boy was playing in the woods when a tall man appeared and asked if he wanted to come back to his cabin for dinner. Totally caught off guard, the boy reluctantly agrees and begins walking. When they get to the cabin, the boy is relieved when he sees Paul, a family friend, sitting on the porch, so the boy happily goes inside. After they eat, the boy says thank you to the strange tall man, says bye to Paul, and then he leaves. He had only walked a few steps when he sees his family, along with Paul, running up the path towards him, frantically asking if he was okay. Confused, the boy says, I'm just fine, and he looks at Paul and he's like, why didn't you tell them I was with you at, at the cabin? And he points over his shoulder. Paul glances over the boy's shoulder and then narrows his eyes and says, you were kidnapped by a cult three days ago. No one's seen you. Terrified, the boy turns around to look at the cabin he just came from, and it's gone. All he sees is a dark forest that stretches for miles. If I play, do I get one of those cool t-shirts? <laughs> yes. Really? Everyone gets a t-shirt. We make them ourselves. And if you... You're being sarcastic. You're being sarcastic. Okay, update on Jim Boy. We're going to hang out again on Saturday morning because I asked him if he wanted to watch the sunrise. And of course he said yes. And then he said, do you want to go to Cracker Barrel? And of course I was like, who doesn't want to go to fucking Cracker Barrel? Yeah. But basically I need you to help me pick out an outfit because I don't want to look insane, especially if it's in the morning. I know I need to be chill, but like chill is just not my vocabulary at all. So this is option number one. I think I want to wear these pants regardless because they're cute, but it doesn't look like I'm trying too hard. But I'm gonna try to change the top a couple times, so tell me your favorite one. Okay, sure, option number two. Take it in, combobulate your thoughts, let me know.
Then we have this one, which is super relaxed and really cute, but I think I like the tighter ones a little more. Or we could do this, but I think this needs a coat. I feel naked. <laughs> this is the exact same shirt, but in white. <laughs> okay, this is the last option. Let me know in the comments what you think. I'm not sure about this one. I don't know. What are we gonna get for dinner? Oh. Quesadilla? Quesadilla! I was doing some shopping the other day and I stumbled into Hot Topic. Turns out they have a clothing line that is Hocus Pocus Disney themed. Let's do a haul. Here is the first top. This is extremely cute and it has little cauldrons and like witches potions all over it. I also love this detail. Next up, to spice up my life a little bit, I got a cardigan that you can literally wrap all the way around like a burrito and it has cat heads on it. Did I mention that it has a hood too? I'm now wearing my favorite piece, you're not ready. It has spider webs on the arm, which is such a cool detail. I just can't do it with a train. I love it. Last but certainly not least is this black cat themed Hocus Pocus hoodie. Look at how cool the back of this is. It's also so soft. I'm going to wear this every day. If you want to get any of the items I just showed you, you can get them from Hot Topic. It is the Disney Hocus Pocus collection. I'm obsessed. You should be too. I've got this gigantic box in the mail. Okay, obviously I got a little excited and I already opened it. Basically, I'm going to EDC again this year, so there's a bunch of EDC stuff in here and Insomniac merch. First up, we got this iconic bucket hat. I'm going to wear this every day. I might be weird, but I love getting socks and these have pink on them, so I'm sold. So excited about this. Are you kidding me? Look at the back too. This is the lineup of everyone who's gonna be at EDC. Ah! We have another Insomniac shirt. This one's really cute. I love black t-shirts. We got a keychain so you don't lose your things at the festival. Next up is a giant sweatshirt that's tie-dyed. I'm gonna put this on right now because I'm cold. Last but definitely not least, the ticket box. I'm gonna die. Look at this box. I think I'm holding it upside down, but it's still cool. Sleep mask, which I'm probably gonna need after being up the entire night. These are so cute. They're just little sequin patches. Another keychain. Also a bunch of stickers. I am so excited for EDC this year and I really hope that I get to see some of you guys there. So let me know. Mwah, bye. <laughs> Back again and we're gonna do a realistic white fox haul. We're starting off strong with this two piece set. My only complaint is that it was supposed to be tie dye and it is the faintest tie dye I've ever seen. No, because this skirt is literally giving me everything. It fits me like a glove. The quality is incredible. Buy it. Like, are you literally kidding? Okay, again, this shirt is giving me everything. It fits me like a glove. It is such good quality. It has boning here. I like it. I don't know why I thought it was hot enough to pull this off. It was like a late night purchase, but I'm definitely not doing it any justice at all. I also got it in pink, but I won't be trying it on because it broke the first time I put it on. These are my new favorite jeans. End of story. They fit me like a glove. They're absolutely beautiful. I love them. Oh my God. Oh, wow. Okay, this would have been an absolute serve, except it literally doesn't fit me, which makes no sense because all the other ones fit me. But um, the skirt is a serve. Love her. Hey, I'm Bailey. Um, I make POVs on here, but today I want to talk about something a little more serious. So I have a pretty big platform and I want to use it to spread awareness about issues that I am serious about. And this is why I am in support of the National Eating Disorder Association. 20 million women and 10 million men in the United States suffer an eating disorder at some point in their lives. Eating disorders not only affect you physically, but they also affect you mentally. There are a lot of misconceptions about eating disorders, and there are a lot of different kinds of eating disorders that aren't talked about as much. Eating disorders have the second highest mortality rate out of all the mental health disorders. Second to opioid use. There can be people struggling all around you, and you won't even know. Eating disorders can also be caused by a lot of different things. Sorry, getting a little emotional because this is something that I have struggled with. I'm going to make more parts to this, but if you also want to be in support of the NEDA, the link is in my bio to donate or just to spread awareness. Seven, and I go in with the Dior. One, two, three, so. I cannot keep living until I find out what happens if I put that much foundation on my face. I have on my headband exactly how she has it and a paper towel roll on standby. She used seven pumps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three. Oh. <laughs> I feel like I'm creating a potion. We're gonna waste no more time and start lathering this on my face. Now we just rub it in all casually. I can't do my eyes because I have eyelash extensions. I look like the peanut butter baby. <laughs> It's burning. <laughs> Mom, look, I did my makeup. The beauty blender is supposed to be the most important part, so I'm hoping it'll save this. Okay, why does this not look bad? Look at this on my skin. We gotta finish the full face, so go to part two. 
I am actually vegan, surprisingly. Let me tell y'all a little secret. If you're not vegan and you go vegan, like fully vegan, like committed, eating healthy, whatever, you will lose like up to 10 pounds in like two weeks because you cut so many food groups from your body. And a lot of those food groups will actually make you gain weight. Um, you'll be very skinny. I do recommend you go vegan because a plant-based lifestyle not only will make you lose weight, it will make you feel amazing, but also make sure you're not malnourished. <laughs> I have that problem a lot. Since you're not eating so many food groups, you will lack iron and protein and a lot of other things and you need to make sure that you're eating enough of it. You have to have protein if you want to lose weight. I've been trying really hard not to feed into comments, but I do want to stick up for myself on this one. What you're hearing on the chorus is mostly layering, which means that there's another chorus that I sang in the studio layered on top, so it's double the vocals. But for my own sanity, I'm going to sing it acoustic. They're so pretty, it hurts. I'm not talking about boys, I'm talking about girls. They're so pretty with their button up shirts. People are still gonna hate on me, but I don't know. I, I kind of think I can sing. <laughs> no, because hang, hang on a second. This is not directed exactly at the person who commented this, but this is the first one I saw. Everyone was commenting, she's packing, like, haha. And not just on my videos, it's on, like, every girl's videos who ever posts anything where you can see any glimpse of, you know. First off, not only is that disrespectful, also, none of your, none of your business. I don't know if y'all have ever seen a female's body, but we do not all look the same. I thought we had established that. I'm sorry that I'm not all bones down there. I do have fat just, like, on the rest of my body, so of course it's gonna, like, poke out a little. Like, every girl does that. Not everyone has, like, a teeny weeny like, flat, you know? It's just, it's just pissing me off. The underwear also looks like that because there was extra room on it and it was bunching down there. Really didn't want to talk about that, but y'all are rude. <laughs> like, I don't know what you want me to say. I'm sorry I have a fat-ass gorilla grip. Wow. Wow. Um, no. That was a food, baby, because I just eaten a whole wrap, but... Thank you for thinking that someone would like me enough to get me pregnant. That honestly is a compliment and I'm gonna take it with positive vibes. Thanks. Okay, real talk. I need to get you guys hip to this app like right now. Um, this is Wink. It's so loud. Ah! Anyways, this is Wink and I've been using it literally 90% of all of my days. It is so fun. Trust me, like you need to get this app now. Basically, this app can make you friends from all over the world. You get to see people's profiles on the app and you can swipe yes or no and you can add them on Snapchat and you can talk to people in the app and it is so fun. I got it a few days ago and I already have like 17 friends on my Snapchat from this app and if you find me on there, send me a message and I will add you back on my Snapchat and we can be friends because I love my Wink friends. <laughs> this is my profile. I didn't add them any pictures because like, I don't know. But <laughs> I, you can add a photo, you put your snap name, you can get your bitmoji in there, your age, where you're located. It's so fun and you can meet so many new people and I seriously recommend that you get it because it is literally one of the most fun things I've ever done in my life. Just this one time, I am giving you guys full permission to absolutely gas on me in the comments. And let me show you why. Take it all in. Just give me your initial reaction. I don't care what it is. Just say it. I don't know what was going through my head when I bought this, but, uh, it's here. So I think it is a great day to be pranking my family group chat. And I just happened to know the perfect app to do this. Here we have Reface, and this is fun for a different number of reasons. You can morph your face onto GIFs or videos, and you can now animate your images. And if you don't know what that means, let me show you. Choose a person or face to upload. Then you pick which sound you want them to say, and there are so many of them. So this is my dad, but look what I did. Also, I love my dad so much. Do not say a word about this man, I will find you. No, God! No, God, please, no, no! I just sent it, so let's see what they say. You know, you can also prank your friends with this app. Download Reface. You are not gonna regret it, I swear. Uh Let's get dressed together for day one of VidCon! I'm 
don't know, maybe I should just go like this. I'm just kidding. First is this white top from Garage. I really hope nobody spills on me. For the bottoms, I'm gonna put on this very long maxi skirt from Finesse. Just wait, it's so cute. There is just no way I'm gonna be able to keep this clean all day. I've also been obsessed with waist chains recently, so I'm gonna put on this one from Amazon. I already have jewelry on. This is actually my necklace that you can buy if you're at VidCon. This and matching earrings and some other stuff will be at my merch booth. On top of that, I'm gonna add this half and half pearl and chain one. Finally for shoes, these are Naked Wolf platform sneakers. They're amazing because I'm very short and I don't want people to know that. Here is our final fit and I really hope that I get to meet some of you guys at VidCon today. So if you see me, I am all white and you cannot miss me. Like my outfit today, I'm unsure about it. No. Okay, harsh. Do you think a different top would make it better? No. Why are you nodding but saying no? What if I added on a coat to this outfit? No! Damn, do you like anything? Do you have a pencil I could borrow? No. Oh, okay. Well, did you do the homework? No. Shit, I was gonna copy you. Could you answer number four for the class, Bailey? No. Uh, okay. No. But I didn't even ask you anything. Dude, I just found out that your crush likes you back. No. What do you mean, no? I've been hearing rumors that he's gonna come over and ask you to homecoming today. No. I thought you liked him. No. Someone has to warn him. That's so embarrassing. Will you go to homecoming with me? No. I think the dog ran away. Slay. No, not a slay. We need him back. It's because you left the side gate open again. Slay. Shut up. Morning, class. Yeehaw. I like your enthusiasm. What? She's as dumb as a rock. Why are you the only one without any vocabulary? L-O-L. -L. You didn't even get any helpful words. Can you say yes, no, maybe anything? Slay.